Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here today to share with you a $20,000 statue shipment delivery. For those that are in this hobby, this is one of the most exciting days because you place a pre-order, you wait a long time for it to be created, and finally the day comes when it delivers to your house. Now for today's shipment, about 60% of it is mine, 40% is gonna be other people's, so a lot of amazing things to see. If you're not aware, I ship my stuff something called a bulk method. So it delivers on a pallet with statues all saran wrapped together. It's a lot safer that way because it moves all as one unit rather than moving each box one by one. So with everything today, I hope you enjoy more of a behind the scenes look, pull on the curtain back, seeing what happens when I get these shipments in, how I do process them, and honestly, we'll probably maybe crack open a box or two and take a look and see what's inside. So with that being said, I'm gonna wait a few more hours for the truck to arrive while well, you have to wait just a moment. I'm super grateful that everyone who delivers to my house doesn't mind pulling all the statues up the hill while I help them push. It really does save my back on a trip to the chiropractor because moving all those statues, hand carrying them up that hill would totally mess me up. I always love the fact that everything is shrink wrapped. It does help to keep everything together on the load so it moves as one unit, but I do rip that off pretty quickly and throw it in the trash can like I'm doing now. All right, so we got one pallet in so far. It was a little bit too tall, could barely fit above the top rank garage, so we had to rip the box off. Uh, but successfully have one box in here. We have three more to go, I believe. I'm very thankful for the gentleman that did deliver. He had such a great spirit about him, just helping me out, asking about the channel. I even asked him if he wanted to be in the video as well. And of course he did say yes. Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the shipment. See you next time. Thank you so much again. He did say he was gonna to subscribe to the channel, so I hope he does catch this video. If you do, be sure to comment below and I'll pin it here. Everybody can say hello to you. So looking at all the boxes, everything's together. I have the shrink wrap off. We can see some studio logos on the sides, SHK, the Naruto from Gmail over there. Here we have a DT Studios right there. And then at the bottom right here, we have KM Studio. So many other boxes are unmarked, but thankfully they are. I don't want to give away too many things about what's in this shipment. It's going to be a surprise throughout the next few months. All right, everybody. So everything is in the garage. And my next step is going to be to weigh and measure. I have my scale down here. I'll get a measuring tape to get all the measurements. The reason I do that is because when it comes time to sell or, you know, part with the statue, I already have that data at my fingertips. It helps that whole process out greatly. Pretty boring to watch. We're going to skip through most of it, but I need to take care of that now. If you're someone who's getting into the collectibles hobby, I highly recommend picking up your own scale. It's been a lifesaver for me not to haul a statue to you know, the post office or UPS store and get measurements there, but instead do it all in home and print my labels in home if I need to. I also love keeping Excel spreadsheets for all the data on everything. So again, I have it when I'm ready to sell or ship it somewhere else. For this one, I wasn't sure what was in the box. So I did have to open up. We can see Surge Studio. So I know this is going to be my Kakazu that I've been waiting for. Finally get to add him to my collection. And I can't wait to showcase him probably maybe around the Halloween time frame or something. With everything pretty much sorted between what's mine and what's some of my friends, here is this pile. I do have a few more sitting in the garage, like five or six bigger boxes. But I'm going to go ahead and head downstairs. I got to move these pretty quickly. My wife does not like big boxes upstairs. I know you can probably tell by, you know, my physique on the channel, but I, I don't really work out that much. So that being said, statue shipment day is definitely a day where I get my workout by carrying all these huge boxes downstairs. For larger boxes like this one, I do slide them downstairs safely. It looks aggressive because I sped it up, but it's really safe how we did it. But all downstairs, it looks like boxes just threw up all over the room everywhere, bleeding into my other main showcase room as well. This is pretty much how it is the first few days until I sort things out and get everything into my main storage area. As much as I would like to bust into every single one of these statues, I do have to take it slow and steady or it would get way too messy in the room. So for this video, I'm actually going to open up three different statues. Two I really wanted to open up, and these are actually life-size statues I'm adding to my collection. Now, when I say life-size, it's definitely going to be deceiving as we take a look and see what's inside of them. But this is something that I ordered that I really look forward to. It's so silly. It's one of my goofier statues to own, but definitely something I, I really wanted when I saw it go up for pre-order. 
<laughs> if you can't tell, this is Naruto's full frog wallet. I thought this was incredible to see. So on the bottom, we'll see there's a plug. So you can actually use this as a piggy bank or a coin bank if you want to keep stuff in there. You can see all the back, there's the ripples that make it look like it's full of actual money inside. So this was super cool to see. Definitely an iconic thing in the show. We'll set him aside. And there's a part two to this life-size opening that we will crack into here as well. And there we have it, as you can see on the cover, the moment when Jiraiya spent all of Naruto's money on stuff he should not have spent it on. And so I love that they made this duo together. Here's the empty wallet version of this. You had two different types that you could have ordered. I was just gonna go with the full one, but then I saw the empty one. I'm like, man, I can make some pretty epic and fun pictures. Obviously I made a thumbnail with both of these for this video here but I love it, it's so neat, such a cool thing. When I see these kind of one-off goofy statues like this, I gotta own these kind of things, they're just too fun. So Third Eye Studios is the third statue we're gonna be cracking open. Now this statue isn't for everyone, but for me, it mixes two of my favorite things, which is both Pokemon and Naruto. I've had many comments through the years about how I'm un unboxing statues on the channel, but I don't actually unbox things. That's because who the heck wants to watch somebody bust open some cardboard and play with some paper to get this stuff out? That's why I sped through it all here. But we can see initially we have four tails and then we have the fifth tail that they sculpted separately right here. Right? There might not be many familiar with this statue line, but I'm obsessed with uh, Pikachu's cosplaying as Naruto character statues. So this is actually going to be Pikachu dressed up as Han. And then he also has the five tails behind him to represent Kokoro, the five tailed beast. Though these are pretty small, they do pack in a lot of different details. I love the fiery look to that clear resin, how they went from the red to the yellows there. And then we'll crack open this final piece here, which again is gonna be the main body of Pikachu cosplaying as Han. I'm saying cosplaying, whatever, dressed up, themed after Han. Low key, Third Eye Studio is one of my favorites. They do this Pikachu line. They do a line of characters in more casual outfits. And they also did a Kirin Sasuke, which we should see here on the channel sometime in the near future. So that's everything today. I hope you enjoyed a behind the scenes look at a delivery day here. And I'll see you in the next unboxing video. Everybody do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.